All right, now we're going to compare the mean and the median. You can explain the distribution and the effects of the mean and the median. You can determine the mean and the median is a more um, appropriate way to describe the center. So the idea is that you've learned how to find mean and median in previous grades. Now you're going to apply it based on reasoning. So it says, here are two dot plots. The first dot plot shows the heights of the fir first 22 presidents. The second dot plot shows the heights of the next 22 presidents. So that's saying there are 44 presidents. So based on the two dot plots, decide if you agree or disagree with each of the following. So it says circle all the statements you agree with. The median height of the first 22 presidents is 178 meters. So the first 28, 22. So I cross off on each side. You could write out the numbers if that makes it easier for you. I have two numbers in the center. 178 is going to be my median. So that's true. All right, the next one says the mean height of the first 22 presidents is about 183 centimeters. Well, to figure that out, I actually have to add them up and divide. So I'm going to get my calculator out on my phone, and I'm going to add 163 plus 1... 168 plus 170, 172, and then four 173s. Then I'm going to add a 174, a 175. Two 178s, a 180, four 183s, an 185, two 18s. 188, a 189, and a 193. And I'm going to divide that by 22 because it says there are 22 presidents. So I got 178 as my median, or my mean. So I don't agree with number two. The typical height for the president in the second group is about 182. All right, well, let's try finding the median. Well, yep, 182 is what I got. The presidents have become taller over time. Well, I would say that the center has shifted about five units. So I would agree with they have become taller. The heights of the first 22 presidents are more alike than the heights of the second 22 presidents. Well, the range here or the spread is 193 minus 163. So that's 30. This would be 192 minus 168. So that's only 24. So I would say they are not more alike, they are more different. Okay. So now let's take a look at the next one. It says, what, car, um, what is the typical age of dogs being treated in the animal clinic? The mean is approximately 7.8 years old. The median is 8 years old. Well, what is the typical age? So that would be the average age. So I'm going to say the mean 
7.8. And it says to explain your reasoning, this includes all the ages of the dogs. including those outliers. So then B, it says, what is the typical number of people in Irish households? Well, you go anywhere from two to nine. So the mean is five people. Well, if I say five people, that means that like everybody has five people in it. And I don't agree with that. So I think the mean is a more appropriate because it includes the outliers in the data. So this includes the outliers in the data. All right, the next one says, what is the typical travel time for New, New Zealand students? 12.5 minutes or approximately 12.5 minutes. Well, 12.5 minutes means that all students take about 12.5 minutes, and that's not exactly true based on this um, graph. So I'm going to say the mean because it takes into account all travel times. Okay, card D, would 15 years old be a good description of the typical age of the people who attended the birthday party? So 15, well, the mean is 15, but if I look at the dot plot, eight seems to be how old the kids were. So I'm guessing these are brothers and sisters, and these would be like parents. So I would say no, the median... was eight years old. It would also be the peak in my data. All right, is 15 minutes or 24 minutes a better description of the time it takes students in South Africa to get to school? Well, 24 minutes would be like right here, and that's a gap in the data. So I'm going 15. So 15. Wait a second. These two cards are backwards. I'll fix these before I send it to you guys, but these two cards are backwards. That makes way more sense now. There we go. Let's look at it again. Okay. So now it says... Is 15 or 24 minutes a better description of the typical amount of time it takes a student to get to school? Well, when I look at my data, I can tell that the center is 15 minutes because I have four dots on this side and four dots on this side. So I would say 15 minutes, the median, it is the center of the data. Would 21.3 years be a good description of a typical age of people who went on a Washington, D.C. field trip? Well, field trip implies that you're not an adult. So 15 to 20 is the peak of the data. That's also the median. So I would say the median of the data. 15 um, is an age... People go on field trips. All right. So then it says, how did you decide which measure of center to use for dot plots A through C? So when I look at it, A through C was mean, mean, and mean because they wanted to know um, the average time. They wanted to know um, about how many. They wanted an approximate number. So I'm going to say the mean. 
they wanted to know an approximate number. All right, then they say, how did you decide which measure to use for D through F? Well, when I look back, D was the median, E was the median, and F was the median. So they wanted to know where was the, the bulk of the data or the center of the data. So these questions... asked about the center of the data. All right, so then it says, here's 